Hey there, guys. This is Nintendo PSX, and yet another discussion. We had just watched the, uh... Oh, I should probably say who I'm with before I say we. I'm here with Steve. Yeah, hey, guys. How you doing? You know him as the Ridding Slotes from Xbox Live. Now, um, we're going also to be Explosion here... Also, Explosion 954 on YouTube. That, too. But that doesn't yeah, matter. except I don't upload any videos, but whatever. It's, 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 it's unimportant. <laughs> We're here to discuss uh, and analyze the new trailer that they had shown for Super Smash Bros. for Wii U and 3DS. So we're just going to jump in right there. It took a couple of notes. First things first, I'm going to say a couple stages that I've noticed. Um, the stages for the Wii U, because they seem to be separated uh, from what I've been able to tell. Is that Wii U stage, we have Skylaw from Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword. A new battlefield. Um, some new wrestling field stage. We have Dr. Wily's Castle from Mega Man. And the Animal Crossing stage from Brawl seems to return with a altered design. Now we're going to move on to the 3DS stages that I noticed, which was uh, Legend of Zelda Spirit Tracks, Geradu Valley, a Super Mario 3D Land, Nintendogs, a different version of Battlefield, Donkey Kong Country Returns 3D, and what appears to be the um, the Feroxy Arena from Fire Emblem Awakening. So, Steve, what do you think about the stages that you saw? I don't know. I think they look pretty cool. I'm looking at the DS ones by Kirby right now. The three DS ones. I can't really tell what they are. There's that one you were looking at before. Hey, if you could choose like falling into the abyss on this one. <laughs> but um and <laughs> Did you see this picture on the Nintendo level with Mario like stomping Kirby? Yeah. <laughs> Just like stomping him completely flat. <laughs> Anyway, I'm, I'm interested in the um, the Fire Emblem stage because that means since they have Awakening, basically Krom is unofficially announced. And Krom is the main character from Fire Emblem Awakening, which basically means he's probably going to be pit right next to uh, uh, Marth. Yeah, whenever they release Marth. Oh, he'll, he'll be there. Whatever. He'll be yeah, there. I know he'll be there, but whenever they actually like show it. Uh, and it looks like for Skyloft, they're doing something similar to what they did with Super Mario Sunshine stage in Brawl, where it's just kind of like hovering around the island, but at points you kind of land, and then you go back to on a floating platform, you land, etc. Uh, Animal Crossing stage, they really didn't show much of. Uh, the Spirit Track stage looks pretty interesting, though. I think it's kind of, um, similar to Big Blue. Like, if you fall off the train, you might just, like, get... Yeah, it looks that, like he was trying to, like, throw the other guy off the train in the trailer. Yeah. Like throwing each other. Uh, they didn't show much, if any, at all of Geradu Valley, but I did see that it is Geradu Valley from Ocarina of Time 3D, and I was able to tell about that because you know I love that area. But um, that's an that's an interesting stage choice. Um, and with the Donkey Kong Country Returns 3D, you know that's also uh definitely a stage that was bound to appear. Whether it's going to be in the version of the Wii U or just 3DS is, uh, remains to be seen for all the stages uh, mentioned. Uh, so now, one thing that's really interesting, which they showed off in the Mega Man version of the trailer, is that there are new weapon types, meaning that either the character switches between weapons with the gameplay they have, or there's a separate uh, like selection where you can choose what... Like, weapon style you want to use for that character for that entire match. I was thinking maybe that might be, like, his final smash or something. Like, it's my final smash and he gets all, like, the different abilities from the guys or something. But I, I don't know. I don't think so, because if you look at the Mega Man photos, it just shows him using it in regular combat. He's not glowing or doing anything fancy. Yeah, that's true. It would be kind of disappointing if it was only the sm final smash, too, anyway. I'd like to be able to use him in yeah. a regular battle without having to get the smash ball. Uh, but I had noticed that it wasn't just Mega Man who was using multiple weapons. If you look over on the Smash Bros. website, the official Smash Brothers website, and you go to Pit, you will notice that there is a Pit using a weapon type from Kid Icarus Uprising, his most recent game, uh, and it's an arm weapon. In that game, they were called arms. I don't know the exact you know weapon it's called, but I do know that it's an arm weapon, and that's really interesting because I'm thinking to myself, all right, are they going to have all the other weapon types that were in Kid Icarus Uprising, like the club, the claw, the cannon, etc.? I think that'd be really interesting if they do that multiple weapon type for uh, multiple weapons that Pit has from Uprising. Yeah, he's using the arm in a couple of pictures. He's using the arm in the 3DS one too. He's using one, he's attacking Fox, and then another one, he's attacking Link. Yeah, so 
that's a new thing that um is in the new Smash Brothers is multiple weapon types. I was thinking maybe they'll do something like that for Kirby, where he might have like his actual copy abilities like used in game. Like maybe he'll be Fire Kirby or Ice Kirby or something. But I think they'll just keep it with the regular Kirby, where he just eats people and gets their abilities. Yeah. Whether they made it more dynamic. Where it's not just you copying their B button, and maybe like the Kirby's whole scheme alters to that character as well is yet to be seen. Though I think that'd be really more interesting, to be honest. Yeah, I think it would be cool, like if certain characters had different weapons too. Like let's say Pit has like a couple different weapons. Like if he had the arm out, if you sucked him in, you Kirby would get like the arm weapon. But if he sucked him in while he had like the bow out or something, he would get the bow. Yeah, that'd be that'd be something really dynamic because you know that's what Kirby is. He eats what it, what it is, and then that's what he gets. Yes, that would make sense if it was that way. I was thinking, like, who else could it work for? I mean, they could do something like that for Samus. Like, maybe she'll have a different, um, a different, uh, ray gun. Like, maybe she'll, instead of just the regular plasma gun, she'll have, like, the one that shoots, like, three, like, three blasts. Or the ice, bl- or the ice beam, the thing that she uses, or the big plasma beam. The missile launcher, you can shoot missiles. Yeah, maybe they'll have, like, different missiles. Maybe they'll have the super missile, the regular missile. Yeah, they already kind of have that. You can't choose, really, but, like, when you shoot missiles, I think... Was it yeah. in Brawl or in Melee? I it was in both. Yeah, you just shoot the missiles, and each time it's, like, a different one. Yeah, if you tap B, you'll do, like, the, uh... the Just the one that hits, and if you do, like, a really long hold held, like, uh, side B, I think it was, she'll do the homing one. Yeah, yeah. See, this is a thing that could work for many Nintendo characters, not just like, uh, not just Pit, Mega Man, or Kirby. I was thinking maybe it would work, would work for Link, but then I'm like, eh, he already, you know, pulls out his items. It'd be kind of pointless when you think about it. Yeah. Uh, so one thing that we uh, definitely noticed is that Final Smashes are back. They've returned. You see Samus using it, and you see uh, an artwork with the villager about to grab one. Yeah, he's got his net. Trying to grab one. I wonder if the net's actually gonna. They they had the villager like put his net over over uh Rudy put his net over in the trailer. Mario. It was Mario. Yeah, like I wonder if he's actually gonna have that in the game. Like gonna be able to, like put his net over somebody and like hold them in place. Or maybe it's like his grab. Maybe he gra- maybe he uses the net as the grab and then he you know just takes him out of the net and just is, he's holding them. Sort of like how Link uses the hook shot, except in here he's using a net. Yeah. It looks like uh, the villager also has a slingshot, too, in this one picture. Mario's punching Bowser, and the villager's jumping in the air, and he's got a slingshot in his hand. Oh, yeah, that's true. So, uh, the villager seems the to be actually... also got some weird hat time. on in this other picture. He's got, like, Is a he? baseball helmet on with... Oh, with balloons on it. Like oh, yeah, it's balloon fight. fight. <laughs> that's pretty cool. I guess that may, might be his up B. Then he has a... Bowling ball? Is that an item, or is that actually something he has? I think, no, that's a, that's a weapon he uses, because I saw him use it in the trailer. He, like, drops it on Mario, and Mario just goes plummeting downwards. What about the picture towards the bottom right with him and Samus? What is he holding there? Is that a beam? What What is that? He's holding. He's holding some sort of weapon pointing at Samus. Oh, you know what that is? I think that's when, um, remember in the trailer, Samus shot, like, a charged, um, plasma, and he just put it in his pocket? I think that's what he's doing. He's grabbing it and putting it in the pocket. Oh, yeah. Maybe it's something similar to, like, Mr. Game & Watch's oil bucket. Like, you get a certain number, and then you, like, explode or something. I don't know. But <laughs> 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 Yeah, the villager just simultaneously combusts. <laughs> the top right picture, he's got, like, a plant in his hands or something. Yeah. It's kind know, of interesting how they got a character like this to actually be put into the game. Yeah, it's kind of like a... Sort of like the Pokemon trainer, kind of like a... Sort of a nameless character, kind of. Just kind of some guy. Yeah. <laughs> I mean... Uh, specific character. I'm not opposed to it, because hell, more characters is cool. It's just... It's interesting, is that is what, is what it is. Yeah, it's different. He seems like he's just going to be... <laughs> I, I I said this to Steve earlier. I said that the villager seems like he's going to be a broken troll character. <laughs> he does. You just see him in the trailer, like, just hitting guys with the shovel. Just, like, he's just sticking the ground. <laughs> and then that tree looks like it absolutely murders people. <laughs> he pays off his debt, and he needs... He, he's angry. 
<laughs> Anyways, other than the villager, we have another new character who is a third party game, Mega Man. Yeah, Mega Man. Not Mega Man X, not Fat Mega Man, but the Mega Man <laughs> Classic. Mega Man. <laughs> you gotta clarify. <laughs> so glad that Mega Man's gonna be in this game. Yeah, Mega Man. He's the first one who showed off the multiple weapons. He's got and his he... dog with him too. Oh yeah, the dog. What looks to probably to be his up because the dog has a spring on it, so that's probably going to be his, you know, recovery move. Yeah, it looks like it. They got one picture with him jumping on the spring here. Yeah, he has the you know the regular blaster, and uh, it just, looks like just... he can throw saw blades. I don't know what the hell that is. That's the metal ability, whatever it was. Oh, the, yeah, 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 the metal ability. Yeah, and then he has the leaves, which were like the leave ones. Yeah, Woodman. Yeah, so it looks like Mega Man's just gonna have all these different weapons, but I'm I'm still questioning, you know, how's it? Is he just is it gonna be like um you choose Mega Man, then you like have like a little separate screen where it's like choose your weapon style or something? Maybe. Sort of, or maybe they'll have it be like you know you just you choose Mega Man. It's like down B is the leaf, down up. B is like the dog, side B is the metal blades. Yeah, I'm thinking probably more like that. I think it'd be much more interesting if they let you like choose how you want it to be. Because you know, when you think about it, if you if you're looking at Pit, how are they gonna do that for Pit? Because if you look at him with his arm, it looks like that arm is literally his main weapon. So maybe they actually will have a thing where you can choose your weapon. Or weapon yeah, style. Maybe. Yeah, that would be pretty cool. I don't know. I'll, I'm personally want to lead towards that because I, I'm getting tired. Not tired, but I want to see something new like that, and not just a character you know does a different directional and he has a different move. Yeah, because that would be kind of like a bunch of different characters in one. Like each one has like a different fighting style, even though it's like the same character. Yeah. I'd be more interested because then it'd be kind of interesting though when you have like multiple Mega Mans on the field. You'll have like a Metal Mega Man, and then you'll have like the Fire one. Yeah. You could have, like, each one is different. So there's many more opportunities to do that kind of stuff, but, um... It might do it depending on maybe, like... Well, they gave Mega Man more abilities than that, though. I was thinking, like, maybe, like, you know how you choose the color of your guy? Like, depending on which color you choose is a different type, but then they get, they had more types than just, like, a few. Yeah, they had but, way more types than just what they showed. Yeah, so, I don't know. And lastly, I wrote down a few questions that had piqued my mind. And uh, well, not really. Some are questions, and some are just statements. But the uh, 3DS version has different graphic scheme. It has some sort of like outline black uh, cell shade. Yeah, it looks like a more of more of a drawing type of thing. More like a drawing rather than a other than normal graphics. Yeah, it does look cell shaded. Yeah, I mean, I'm personally not opposed because you know it still kind of looks cool. I'm just thinking. I'm just thinking. Like, was it needed? Yeah, it might have been. That just like whatever. Like the, just because it doesn't quite have the graphics capabilities that the Wii U has, obviously. So they just did that. Like they just they kind of decide to figure out like a stylish sort of way to present, like present the game because of their low lower graphics capabilities with the 3DS. Yeah. I'm sure it looks pretty good in 3D. Like that probably won't be a problem at all. Yeah, the cell shade might look cool in 3D. All right. Um, and something that <laughs> it actually bothered me <laughs> was that every time I looked at Link, he had the Twilight Princess design and not his Skyward Sword design. Because if you look, yeah. you see him with the gauntlet, and he only had that gauntlet in Twilight Princess. And he has, like, the stitch, he has, like, the chain mail, like, that is his Twilight Princess outfit. Even the shield is his Twilight Princess outfit. Why is it not a Skyward Sword one? Yeah, maybe, like you were saying before, different styles. Oh, yeah, there was something I was saying before. I was saying maybe instead of just, you know, just alternating colors, you have an alternating design scheme. Yeah. So, like an alternate costume. So you'll have you'll be able to choose like oh Twilight Princess Link, Skyward Sword Link, or maybe they'll even throw in a third Ocarina of Time Link. Yeah, that would be cool if they had different styles. 
Yeah, and it would work. I mean, it doesn't even require that much effort. All they need to do is make a different design model. They don't even have to like make a whole new character. It feels like a whole new character, but it's just an alternate costume. Do you see like the one picture down on Link's page towards the bottom left where he's like him and Samus are on there and Samus is in the warp thing and she's got like a um she's like throwing a mine out and he's got like a bomb in his hand, but how come the bomb looks like it's weird looking? Like it's like you know what it is? It's the pieces. It's the uh, Twilight Princess bomb design. That's what it looks like. Yeah. I don't know, I've never played that game, so I don't know. <laughs> yeah, it's the Twilight Princess. Like this entire thing, like Link is entirely Twilight Princess scheme, and it's like, like I don't, I, I don't dislike the Twilight Princess Link design scheme. In fact, I like it a lot. It's probably my favorite out of all the Link designs. But it just bothers me that they had the Skyward Sword one and then they don't put it in. But they put in Skyloft as a stage. I don't know. So you might be able to pick. Who knows? True. I hope you're able to. That'd be – that's my dream at least because then it's like, oh, yeah, you get to choose that. You get to choose this, you know. But, uh, oh, God, Link looks so beautiful in HD. <laughs> I'm sorry. I just went to one of the pictures and was like, oh, okay. And anyway – He's using his up B on Mario. He's spinning his sword all over the place. Yeah, he's murdering him. <laughs> then he has that one of him just staring at spear tracks, Link. <laughs> <laughs> But, uh, <laughs> uh, it should not be that entertaining. <laughs> One thing I'm curious is that, um, if they're going to do something with Pit, sort of like what they did with Snake with the codec, because if you played Kid Icar- Kid Icarus Uprising, throughout the entire game, there's a, there's other ga- gods and characters constantly talking to you and making jokes and telling you things. And I'm thinking, what if they do something like that? Like they'll have Palutena or Hades or Verity from Kid Icarus Uprising talk to you about the characters in Smash Bros. you're currently fighting. Something similar to Snake's codec when he calls them up and he's like, yo, tell me about this character. That would be pretty cool. That would be awesome if they've, like, talked to you and stuff about, like, the other character and stuff. Like, yeah. when Villager came on the screen, they were just like, this character is a troll character. This <laughs> a broken troll character. You better watch out, Pit. And <laughs> Pit's just like, what, a troll? He, <laughs> he doesn't look like that to me. He kind of looks like an average human. <laughs> it's like, no, Pit, you don't understand memes. What's a meme? <laughs> like, <laughs> like, that's literally the, like, that's how Kid Icarus Uprising, that's how they talk in Kid Icarus Uprising. <laughs> like that's that's the comedy to get a Grizz uprising and i'm just thinking like they could do so much with that to to bring it to pit to bring it to brawl and just have him talk about the characters like there's so much potential it's something they're probably never gonna do but i think it would be really cool if they actually did yeah that would be great that'd be pretty fun <laughs> I could just imagine pit like dialing up like palutena like yo tell me about bowser he's like he's scary <laughs> <laughs> That's another thing I'm curious about is um if they bring back something similar to the subspace emissary and if they do will they bring in voice acting instead of slight gestures and such. Yeah. They might. But I have a feeling they might not just because like it's kind of like a thing like they have like the gesturing and whatnot and that's kind of like yeah their thing that they do. Yeah, like, there's so few Nintendo franchises where they talk. Actually, no, that's not true. I don't know, they talk in what? Pick- I don't know. P- Pikmin, they talk. Star Fox, they talk. Captain yeah. Falcon, they talk. Um, Metroid, they talk. Fire Emblem, they talk. The only yeah. franchises I can think of where they don't talk is, uh, like, Kirby. Um, but even Kirby has, like, text. It's just Kirby himself doesn't speak. Yeah. The same... Mario, kind of. Yeah, well, he's still pretty silent. Yeah, he doesn't really talk. Like, the only ones that are really silent is, like, Kirby... uh, Even Pokemon! The trainers scream at the Pokemon! (laughs) It's just, like, it's just... It's just The Legend of Zelda, Super Mario, and uh, Kirby that they don't really, like, have any talking interaction. What about Donkey Kong? (laughs) (laughs) make a bunch of animal noises <laughs> but yeah you basically like get my point like there they could do something like with the subspace of mystery if they bring something like that back which they should it was awesome they bring yeah, back like a huge cool. story thing 
and then they do like cutscenes. Like they could have people talking. Like they could still keep Link, Mario, and everyone silent, but they could fill in what they would need to say with other characters talking to them. Yeah, that's true. I mean, I'm not saying like it requires voice acting because I know there's a lot of people out there like, oh, they don't need voice acting. I'm not saying they need it. I'm just saying it's something that's really cool if they were to. Yeah, just have like those characters silent and have other guys just like say things to them and then they just whatever react. To yeah, stuff. you know, like they nod, they like get mad or something. I don't know, but something. And uh, lastly, at the end of the trailer, you saw Mega Man jumping and attacking some big yellow thing that was falling from the heavens. Yeah, whatever that was, it was like falling in pieces. Yeah, and I was looking at it, and I'm like, this kind of looks, I was thinking like, oh, is that a star man from Earthbound? But I'm like, no, they're silver, and they're tall. That thing was like fat and yellow. Yeah, I have no idea what that was. I think maybe it's some kind of like, it didn't seem like any specific type of enemy. Maybe it's like a bonus stage, you know how they have like break the targets and race to the finish and all that. Maybe it's like destroy the guy, I don't know, destroy the statue <laughs> or something, I don't know. I'm yeah, just it, guessing. It's it's just like, but why would they show that? It, like a trailer, like as important as this. Like the reveal, and they just show something like that at the end. Like, the, what significance is it? What what does anybody even know if that's from a franchise? Is it something Super Smash Bros. created, or is it from an existing IP? I don't know. Maybe they're just a bunch of weirdos, and they felt like putting it in. <laughs> Yeah, we're all, we're, we're a bunch of weirdos. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. All right, well, thank you guys for listening in, and uh, you know, put your ideas into the comments if you want to comment about what we said. Just type it in. If you disagree, agree, or have your own ideas, put it in there. If you have any ideas of what you noticed in the trailer or what you saw in pictures, also put that in the comments, and we might make a second sequel about what you guys have put down. Yeah, and also if you uh, hate our guts, you could put that in there too. <laughs> yeah, you can. <laughs> Freedom. America. All right. Or we could just not allow comments on this video. <laughs> that would be so backwards. <laughs> All right. This has been Nintendo PSX with my good buddy Thrifting Sloats, Steve, and I will see you guys next time. See ya.